Hi, thanks for checking our channel. Here's going to be a kind of finished up video on a on a uh, unit we were working on for a customer. This is a Solar Pack Six Parmac unit. Uh, it's old style with a flashing red light on the front. Not before they had the needle gauge there on the front. So this is one that we've gotten in from a customer. We're just it's already fixed. This one needed a, a new light bulb and a new switch. Other than that, the insides were still good, putting out good power. Solar panel was junk as well. I've been, I don't know, stepped on or something. It just completely trashed the old solar panel. And the customer had already bought a battery for it. I think they got this like second hand somewhere. So they got the new battery in there. A new battery for it that the customer had already bought. So, but what we need to, what we need to do now, excuse me, is put the, um, is wire up the solar panel for the customer. And so the main purpose of this video is to kind of show you how that's done, but also um, people will sometimes ship these into us for repair, and I'll ship just the center housing section of the 6 and 12 volt solar ones, which is fine because most of the problems are in this thing here. So you just undo these two bolts to the top, take your battery out, and kind of push this piece right here, push it in, and lift it up and out. There's a little lip at the bottom here that it kind of rests in. But, but don't know, when you get that out, the solar panel is tied into the wiring of the fence charger itself, so you have to separate all that. And then people are like, well, how do I put it back together? Well, they come tied together with these stupid um, scotch lock connectors. I hate these things. Um, but that's what they use, uh, cheap and quick, I guess, for assembly and whatever. Um but that's one way you can do it, is re reuse those, which the new solar panel came with some, so we'll probably just use them, I guess. Um, but that's how they do it. But um, the other thing about this one compared to the other one, this is still back in the day when a lot of six volt um, stuff was still around, like tractors and cars. People have probably, this isn't, this isn't that old of a unit, but it's probably an uh, 80s, early 90s model. And there's, and there's huh? This particular one was 97? Oh, well, whatever. It's a 1997 model. But either way, stuff for a while was a positive ground. So on this one, the uh, black is our positive and white is our negative. You would think it'd be the other way around, but some things were positive ground. And so that's just how they were. Yeah, go ahead. So, now we got to get this wire back up. The first what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off. I may have to make some of these wires longer. Just because just they've been cut on a few times by somebody. So, we're going to cut these connectors off. And we'll get a pair of um, dikes here. And we'll cut, cut these back. Just so we have a little more breathing room. But I think I'm going to cut this back. And what we'll do is we'll get, um, let's see, take this, take some blue crimp connectors and we're gonna crimp on there because the wire I'm gonna extend this with is a little bit bigger a little bit bigger than this right, find it hold on here A little bit bigger and so we need to use the blue ones because it's a bigger uh, crimp connector little butt connector deal all right so black is here 
the white wire, which is odd, you know, these days. Red is our black wire. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it here. Give myself plenty of wire, plenty of plenty of wire here to work with. Yeah, just so I'm gonna just so I double check myself and verify, make sure I'm doing this right. We'll strip this back. We'll apply power to it, six volt, and then I'm gonna make, turn it on, make sure it still works. Make sure we got our. Make sure this connection is all good before we proceed. So bring it down to around six and a half volts, roughly. And then we'll take the power supply and we'll hook up uh, black to black. Make sure it switches off. That's on, sorry, but it's clicking. All right, so this is wired crooked. So our red from now on, looking at it, red is our positive, black is our negative. So, but we have this right here wired up correctly. Okay, so now we will see if we can use these um, these things here, these Scotch lock connectors. How these things work, if you don't know already, I don't know if I'm going to use these. these. This wire right here might be too big around. Yeah, slide. You can slide in bare. It doesn't have to be stripped back, which we're probably going to cut that off, and make it make it flush. So, I don't think I don't want to be able to use these now. These are going to be too too big of a wire. Let me cut that flush real quick on both of them. We're going to strip it back again if we need to. Yeah, these aren't going to work. This wire's just a little bit too big again. But basically, what you do, you'll slide one wire in all the way through, all the way to the other end. And you slide your other wire you want to tie it to into this one all the way across to the other end where it stops. And then you take this, fold it over, take a pair of pliers and squeeze on it. And this little lip here on this snaps up underneath there and this little metal blade cuts into the, the two wires. And it's metal so it basically ties them together. So that's how that works. So but what we're going to do, this uh, this has already got um, little spades in the back side here, like a, a piggyback thing. So we're going to try to maybe just piggyback on the back side of both of those. I think, let's see, this one's got a small spade, this one's got a large one. Let's see if we've got a small spade that will fit that one. I think we do. Nope, yep, there's small spades there. And I got the larger spade, spade here. Positive gets the bigger spade. I'll crimp that down nice and snug. This one might be too big, yeah. You know, so we're going to have to peel away some of the wires. We'll split it in half roughly, cut off the excess.
And we'll get the solar panel wire. And this will just piggyback on the back side. Same with this one on the negative side. So now our solar panel is tied into Like fit. There. Okay. We'll split that back just a little bit so that way we can get across the battery. We'll take the red wire with the red sleeve on it is plug on to the positive. And the black one with the black sleeve on it is going to go on or negative. And it's labeled on the battery positive and negative. The small wire or small spade and terminal is a negative and the larger ones are positive. You do that so that way you don't accidentally hook it up backwards most, mostly. Come on. There it goes. And then we'll slide this down the side like that. And here's the new solar panel. It just kind of snaps on top. There's no not wrong way to do it. As long as it's not buggered up. This case, this top case is kind of boat you know bent in right there on the side so it might fight us a little bit let's we'll see what we can do oh. let's take this We get it started. And kind of, it, this isn't the easiest thing to do sometimes. It depends on the, because this new solar panel comes with a new top cover. Come on. Massage it a little bit. Huh? Um, for holding the case together. Oh, for holding the for the uh, needle gauge of the transformer. Cool. I think nuts the same on those. Uh, yeah, I got those. Okay, I got a few over here. This thing keeps cutting me. I've been cut twice with this lid here on the solar panel. It's got they didn't clean up the edges on that thing. It's cut my hand 
right there. Cut my thumb right there. They didn't deburr that edge there. Let me fix that. All right, well, we've got this thing on here, but it's not going to stay. This, this thing's been dropped at some point in time. Got this, this big case here all out of wax. So what we're going to do so it stays on there. I have to keep fighting. I've been hitting on the, trying to massage that metal on there on the housing with the small sledge and it's doing it but now it goes on but as soon as you pick it up it comes right off so it ain't staying on there it's going on like it wants to but it's not staying in place so what we're going to do is we're going to drill a small hole and then we're going to put a self tap and screw in it so let me get a uh Let me find the screws I'm going to use. I'm going to use these here. I'll make sure the bit that I'm going to use is not too big. Okay, that should be fine. So, first I'm going to drill that. bit that's in there I think will work too. No, it's almost the same exact size. So we'll pull that off. over here. on this side.
So now we can pick it up and it ain't going to fall apart. Oh man, what a pain in the neck that was. It's like I said, this ain't been dropped at some point in time, bent the hell out of that top, uh, this big housing here. But now we've got it fastened on there and we should be good to go. So if you got one of these 6 volt or 12 volt Parmex older ones that you're having trouble with, you're welcome to send it in to us, let us work on it for you, test it out. And get you going. Even the old stuff can still be fixed. Till next time, see you guys later on.